I'd like you to imagine the great stadium of 1908. Here where this white building is, the BBC building. Whites, presumably, because we're in White City in Shepherd's Bush. But this great stadium uh, held 70,000 uh, seating, 110,000 standing, and it was the site of the fourth Olympic Games in 1908. The, the event that made the fourth Olympics really was the marathon. And that took place on a hot Saturday. It started in Windsor Castle, off to the west, came down through Harsden, um, down across Wormwood Scrubs and into the great stadium. Leading that race was a little Italian long distance runner called Durando Pietri. And he's coming across Wormwood Scrubs, he's absolutely knackered. And he comes into the stadium and heads off in the wrong direction. So everyone's on their feet going, wrong way, wrong way. So he turns around, heads back in the right direction and promptly collapses. And worse than that, uh, well-meaning British officials pick him up and actually help him across the finish line, which meant he's disqualified. So, how about that? 56 golds versus the US 23 golds. That is the best British result till we get to 2008 in Beijing. But the Brits, of course, put on sports that the Brits were interested in, like hockey, football, and tug of war. This is the Japanese garden. It's not from 1908, it's from 1910, when Tokyo decided it needed to make its mark on the world stage, so came here and put on an exhibition here at the White City. And the BBC, who bought up what was left of Imre Karafi's White City, uh, donated this in the 1950s to the local council. It's now called Hammersmith Park, and here it is at the back of BBC Television Centre.